All right, it is 9.38 a.m. and I had a very quick trade with CRTD and this one continued the uptrend and I probably could have been better with this one, but um, I don't know. I'll give myself some slack because it's a Monday. It's broken past this uptrending trend line, so I want to see if it can downtrend some more and then maybe this can be like a higher low, maybe a dip towards VWAP and that could be a good dip buy. Anyway, I did buy this one, 9.32, right here and I bought some... Um, 150 shares at 95 because it was breaking past that 95 level the previous day high was um, 93.25 so i like how initially in the morning we were already above that level and then once we got to the 95 level which had a lot of resistance it broke past it i got in it for that reason um again i could have done better with my selling but it wasn't horrible at 933 i did sell just a portion of my position in case it doesn't work out, it just uptrends a little bit and then it sells off. But um, yeah, this candle was a bit weird when it broke past 95. It got as high as the 97s and then it kind of came back and it was trading a bit weird. So I did sell some at 96 for that reason right here. And then it seems like I sold actually the rest at the same price in the same minutes at 96. And yeah, it, it kind of struggled a little bit, but drawing the trend line from here to I believe here, it held it and it did get as high as the 97s it's broken under it now so again i'll be looking for a potential dip buy setup and on the other screen i am looking at gtii just because this one is also doing a similar thing uh, maybe in theory a trend line from here to this one right here and we can see it's broken past it up there and now this thing can also be maybe a dip by setup although this one's nice because it has a better daily chart but the price action is a bit hard compared to gtii i'll make an update later i didn't make very much i didn't trade that much shares but um, i think it's a step in the right direction it's i mean it's never wrong to start off the week with a small gain a setup that works even if it wasn't very much okay it is 9 52 i did consider dip buying crtd the thing i was talking about but unfortunately they brought it back with just a really wide spread so it wasn't really a clean point where i would have considered actually buying it but in theory it did eventually make a bounce and this thing can continue best case scenario it gets to vwap and then above it or even try to break the day high but it's still offering a bounce i mean 88 to 92 or 93 so far but again the spread was just ugly i did consider at 945 200 shares at 924 right here when it looked like it was trying to um, break past the trend line right here but then i canceled the order because it's something um something just felt off with the price action and i never got filled for that reason and it did sell off some more and it's not like it was predictable this thing had like no big volume candles right here at the bottom it just downtrended with a really wide spread and it also turned around with a really wide spread so again i never took any trades for that reason there's nothing really else that i'm looking at right now this one will be interesting if it offers like a clean dip buy and then ideally tries to break the previous day high but this one doesn't have like the best price action i am looking at mmtlp to see if it can continue to squeeze shorts or maybe even downtrend over a longer period of time significantly that's all i have for right now okay it is 10 8 p.m and i'm here to call it off overall <laughs> i barely made anything i made a dollar and 50 cents on the set of that somewhat worked that uh, i didn't trade as well because i didn't um, wait for a trend line break or at least still have a position until it actually broke and then the worst part was that i didn't have the right amount of shares i should have had twice the amount of shares and i think the thing that really got to me the most which was the worst part was that i didn't try any of the other setups afterwards i didn't try the break past vweb here i didn't try the break past one dollar which was another setup i didn't try to buy the dip buy um at this vweb level or the higher low and then even at that point if you could draw like a trend line maybe from here to these two little bottoms there was even another setup right here although it had less volume and still until it's sort of the work this was another setup right here um i feel really stupid for missing out on these setups but i did take a position in cnna just a very small position because i do want to try to get better at swing trading and holding setups for maybe more than just one day and i bought uh, four thousand shares at 252 and that was going to be right here 252 i got in right here actually near the top at 106 and why did i get in it 
Well, I like how it kind of broke past the one cent level. It broke the previous run up high here as well. Really nice uptrend. And then it sold off, but it held VWAP. And then once it was showing that it was trying to turn around, I got in it for that reason. And right now we closed at, um, yeah, I think we closed pretty nicely at this, um, yeah, 11.5 level. So I might be considering selling it tomorrow morning, depending on how it trades. Maybe I will sell most of it and then hold a smaller piece to see if it can try to run for more than just uh, one additional day. I think it does have a sign that it could uptrend more because it did something like this before where it had a run up here sells off and breaks the level and then it went much higher the next few days so maybe this thing could offer something like that or maybe i'll just be out of it at the market open that's pretty much it i missed out on crtd's uh, multiple setups feel pretty bad for that because you know you can't take um a setup for um you know just granted you have to take every single one that's out there you can't be missing some because there are going to be days where there are just no setups that's it for today i need to get better in that sense and i think the new rule is that i'm not going to try to work on other things work on my business or do other things um until it's at least 11 a.m uh, what happened was is that i traded crtd and then i started to work on other things and then i missed out on a whole bunch of setups just because i didn't come back to the stock market and take another look i need to not do that at least um, wait until 11 a.m. That's it for today.